Today I'm going to show you how to make an infrared flashlight. We need a battery, an infrared LED light that we can buy anywhere on the internet or even take it from a TV remote, some insulating tape and a button so we can switch on and off the light. The first thing we have to do is uh, take a couple of pieces of tape so we have them ready for later. Now we take the LED light and the battery, we loop one end of the LED light cable towards the end of the battery, slowly, and once we have it there, we just secure it with tape. Let's take it easy. Then we connect the button to the other end of the light. We just merge them together, and once the knot is made, we just secure it with tape again. Finally, we connect the last end of the light to the battery, so we have a closed circuit. We are showing to one more piece of tape. And it's done. So now if we press the button, we see a small uh, blink of light going out of the infrared light. The camera sees the infrared light, although it's just a little bit and it doesn't help to illuminate anything. We, if we point it directly to the camera, we'll see. Now we just put everything tightly together and making a small knot. We can just connect it with the duct tape. And carefully with the button. We just have the light in one end and the button in the other. And we're mostly done. You can just uh, check once you finish rolling everything that the light is still on and you haven't broken anything. So just close the end and press the button. Now it's time to play. So the first thing we, we can check is how does a black cloth look like. So here I have a sock, which looks black. And if we take an infrared camera and see the back of the camera, so you see I'm not tricking you, we'll just see how it looks like. I need to refocus a bit. Here we are. So you see that uh, it does not look black. The insulating tape looks black, but the sock doesn't look at all black. It looks more like reddish color. I had to adjust exposure, but this uh, normal light. If we change this uh, sock with a hat, then we can see that uh, the hat is actually gray, black and white. But the camera sees it as uh, more pinkish colors. So the white is mostly pink, the gray is pink and the black is more grayish. And uh, we can just continue playing with it. And for example, we can put it in some reflective surface. So here we have a mirror. It's full darkness, so the, the camera is seeing absolutely nothing. But when we put the infrared light on the mirror, we can actually see the reflection of the infrared light. So here I, I can see the camera and you can see my, my hand. So this is how it looks like. And this is what the camera sees from the infrared light, just a tiny bit of, of light. So, let me know your thoughts and uh, yeah, see you in the next video.